Hi everybody, this is Owa and for this video, we're going to discuss tips for turning failures into success. As Albert Einstein once said, failure is success and progress. You'll get more no's before you get yes. Alright, first, let's discuss what is failure. Well, people say failure is lack of success, which I think is so harsh as everyone has their own definition or own picture of what success should be. And uh, the other problem here is the word failure because um, there's a negative connotation we have to put on it, such as let down, unworthy, or useless. Just like me, I heard many um, rejection. I failed many times. There are so, uh, let's say, hundred things I failed at. If you have never failed, you have never lived. Sometimes not all challenges lead to success. And that's something we have to accept. And when you accept that, that failure is part of the process, you will be encouraged to never give up and you will realize the importance of trying. So you'll try and try again until you reach your goal, until you finally make it. Failure may feel uncomfortable or seem like personal or professional setback, but it can actually lead you to success through growth and opportunities to try again. While it's challenging, failure in the workplace is often inevitable. Whether it comes to missed deadline, so many errors, or interview without job offer, knowing how to accept failure and appreciate that, use it as a opportunity, a learning opportunity that can lead you to future success. We will explore what professional success and failures are, how failures lead into success, and tips on turning failures into success to navigate professional challenges and opportunities. What are failures and success? Failure is the condition of not getting the desired outcome and is normally the opposite of success. So failure is usually different for everyone based on individual belief. Success is the accomplishment of reaching your goal, purpose, or intended outcome. Your definition of success can vary based on belief as well. Common ideas of success can include wealth, prosperity, happiness, wellness, and contentment. Which is clear and I definitely agree that people have their own definition of what success is and uh, it also matters when it comes to people's belief, perspective, on how they define the word success or failure. As you mature in life and your career, it's likely more like your personal definition of success and failure also change depending on your goals, or your career aspirations, it's true that your experience changes you and it might also affect your definition of what success is. Here are some common examples of failures. So first, receiving poor or failing test grades, not getting accepted into a degree or certification program, interviewing for a position but not securing a job offer, getting a bad performance review, missing a deadline, not making a team, losing a client, sale, project, or worse, money, making a mistake that affect others, being terminated from a job, staying in a unsatisfactory role. Here are some common examples of success getting a degree from prestigious college or university, earning a significant salary, attaining financial security, being selected for a promotion, 
having the financial means to give back to others and your community, maintaining your integrity in challenging situations, gaining wisdom and learning from mistakes, obtaining fame or recognition, finding a meaningful career, sustaining mental health and wellness, being respected by leaders, peers, and subordinates, taking risks that leads to more opportunities, and thus being happy is the best example of success. How failures lead to success. Failures often lead to success because they allow you to test and try what doesn't work to discover what does. Experiencing failure might be painful initially, though without it, you miss the many benefits it can bring, including these ways that failures can lead to success. Thank you, I failed many times, I got many rejection as well. I'm a licensed professional teacher. I completed my academic requirements taking Master of Arts in Education major in Educational Management. I earned my experience as a part-time instructor in a college and in a university. But then when I decided to apply in the Department of Education, unfortunately, it's not an easy road for me. Uh, despite of passing the examinations, passing the demonstration teaching or the sample teaching after the uh, passing all the requirements and uh, though so I'm listed as qualified applicants unfortunately I didn't get the job they just advise that they will call you unfortunately there's no any available item so I tried it many times and it's still the same result so there's no available item and it's hard for me because uh, it's my it's my dream but I I look in the brighter side and maybe I can I take that as a blessing in disguise because I'm thankful to where I am now I try to go outside my comfort zone outside my field and I try to apply in a corporate and right now I'm so happy and with the blessings that I have now to the place where I am now I'm so happy and I'm grateful for all of that and I'm thankful for the experience that I gained I use that as my motivation to never give up and try again and I feel like I am redirected to somewhere and always be thankful because maybe everything happened for a reason so that also matter as well and yeah to try and try again to so never give up having the option to try again failure can turn into success solely because of the option to try again repeatedly determination and focus often increase after experience setbacks especially when you are close to attaining your ambition you might accomplish your goal on the second attempt or it might take several tries I agree and maybe what you have to do is to wait for your time maybe you're meant for that but that time is not the right time to so try and learn from your experiences and learn from your failures it's hard to realize that you're almost there but uh, unfortunately you're still not able to make it you're still not able to achieve your goal your desire it's common to learn more each time you try something so be willing to take another chance after experiencing failure gaining wisdom and room to learn and progress you can often gain new insight skills and techniques through experiencing hardship or failures after you experience that you study what went wrong so um, you prevent that in the future so next time that you will try it you will avoid those mistakes and problems so you, you do better next time tips for turning failures into success think failure as a tool Consider changing your mindset about failure and instead think of it as a tool to help you determine what works and what doesn't. Viewing it as an opportunity to innovate rather than as a determined to success can help you accept 
and use failure as your advantage. Separate feeling from failure. Many people are confused, but feeling is trying something you learn that doesn't work, and failure is the act of giving up and not trying or not continuing to try. Never be a failure and no regrets after all, after you experience that. It's okay that you try and try because in the future you have no regrets. Because um, when you are scared to try again, no more what if and don't be scared to try again. And as long as you give your best, you know that you have no regrets because at least you try. Define what success means to you. Knowing what you want to achieve and how you measure success can also help you determine your outlook on what defines failure or how to move past it. Yeah, it's a matter of your definition. So people have their own perspective, how they define success. And as long as we're happy, the contentment is there. So that's how success is that uh, it's really different and we are the drivers of our own story we are the one who define it so success matter to our own personal perspective let's take a break and learn from it it's okay to take a pause and process everything it's okay to take a rest we are not defined by our failures and it molds us to become a better version of ourselves it is important that you take you take that as a part of your of your opportunity to grow just take a deep breath and think about the perfect time to try again and after come back strong and finally get that victory and after all i think uh, failure is a good thing it brings so much benefit in molding our self to become better failure benefit one it provides a reality check on where we are at. Failure benefit two. The lessons learned are priceless. Failure number three. This isn't a one-shot time only. Just do better next time. Failure benefit four. It builds strength of character. Failure benefit five. It realigns you to your goals. And that's our video for today everyone. Thank you for watching and always remember that failure is always there. It's part of the process. What matters is the result. So always end up winning and yeah, always champion yourself. Thank you everyone and goodbye.